his hair Back in the day, he was his prey Greetings from uh, Tuscany. Uh, I'm here on the Mutaguchi Stelvio NTX on uh, uh, ATV 1200 launch. Uh, this is the NTX yeah. Stelvio ATV now, and uh, it's called ATV because it's now got the latest uh, eight valve um, twin engine. And um, uh, we've ridden it for um, for uh, quite a few miles now, and. Uh, there's a few differences between the between the ATV and the uh, NTX 1200, uh, which has also got the new Quattro uh, Valvole, as they call it in Italy. And um, the the uh, ATV is a bit more uh, sporty, obviously. Uh, it's a bit lighter, and um, and uh, it's got uh, brand new spoked wheels, uh, hard cast, and. Uh, you got an, uh, the seating position is adjustable between 800 and 840 millimeter. <coughs> I tried both today, and uh, uh, and um, it is uh, slightly more comfortable to um, for me to to ride uh, with the uh, um, seat position in the highest uh, 840 millimeter position. But uh, it's not too bad on the um, lower uh, lower setting either, and uh, it's very easy to to. Uh, to change um, from from the lower to the higher position, as you can see, it's um, this is the orange version. It's a bit uh, you know sort of more striking, sporty sort of type of color, whilst the NTX is more sort of more conservative. My my camera is mounted on the NTX. I think I'll um, I'll swap positions and uh, and show you the and the NTX as well later. Uh, it's got um, traction control. Uh, it's got uh, quite a rudimentary version, just uh, just um, not not meant for um, sort of active riding. It's uh, it's a traction control for safety purposes only, so that uh, if you hit some gravel or a little bit of oil or water or something um, exiting a corner, then traction control can help you. And it's not very intrusive. You can still do a little wheelie and stuff, even if the traction control is on. Um, so. Um, it's a it's a safety feature. Um, it's got ABS as well. Uh, quite uh, you know I've got mixed feelings about it because uh, riding up here um, um, I use the ABS and uh, and um, you know when you're braking really hard, it just want to move straight on sometimes. And uh, and uh, I know that uh, I could have gotten a little bit better off the of the brakes if uh, if it hadn't if ABS hadn't been on, so it sort of uh, it messes up your uh, rhythm a little bit, but uh, it's, it's it still is a very good safety feature. You know you're out on a cold mornings and uh, maybe your brain hasn't started working properly yet, and uh, you know ABS could save you. You've got um, Tom 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 Navigator a standard on uh, on both um, ATV and uh, and the NTX Stelvio, um, so so that's very good. New is also the uh, 32 liter fuel tank, so, so it's got a massive range. This bike, mainly uh, Moto Guzzi sort of emphasised that uh, they uh, they intend Stelvio to be uh, more of a road um, bike, road enduro, uh, which is you know to be honest uh, what BMW has done with the GS as well. But the thing is, GS handles really well on quite a bit of uh, can do quite a bit of off road as well. Whilst um, I sort of consider the Stelvio to be, uh, it's not really proven in that area yet, so uh, so you can't sort of push uh, 30 years of uh, GS experience uh, off the balance as easy as that. But um, I love riding the Stelvio uh, engine, has got so much torque, lovely torque, so you can just kick it up the gearbox still uh, below 2000 rpm it's not too happy uh, below 2000 rpm in high gears because um, it doesn't accelerate too smoothly even though you know you can do and uh, it's you know you've got power even there but uh, it's much better above 2000 rpm if you're cruising in a high gear 
to you know overtake a car or something like that. Um, this should be a very very nice um, bike to ride uh, with a pillion passenger because you know it's got all that torque. It's quite you know it's a large motorcycle, uh, plenty of space, lots of comfort, and lots of engine grunt. So um, so this is one uh, you can tour you know effortlessly all day long and um, quite comfortable. Um, the um, I did start feeling it a little bit in my bum after uh, after a few miles, but uh, but uh, it is uh, comfortable. And uh, if you're riding solo, you could just um, uh, lift yourself up and sit on the on the pillion seat for a little while to relieve uh, any pain in your back. <coughs> so that's about it on the on the Stelvio 1200 HV. So. Over to the NTX, and as you can see, it's got uh, some uh, wind deflectors that um, the A3 hasn't got. It's also got a taller, taller windscreen, and it's adjustable, um, manually adjustable. It's got ABS. It's got the traction control. <coughs> it's got a 32 liter fuel tank, and um, it's also got these um, these uh, 52, uh, sorry, 50 liter um, solid aluminium. Uh, top uh, uh, panniers, panniers, and uh, we just saw one of the journalists. He was a little bit unfortunate and managed to uh, to um, push a bike over and uh, just um, inspected the damage afterwards and hardly anything. So, so these uh, panniers, just solid stuff and uh, and uh, uh, really good for some hard touring. You know, should you have a you know, should you be unfortunate and have a crash or something, then uh, it could save the bike and uh, and. You know, allow you to ride, just ride on, and um, yeah, it's got some extra lights as well. You can't see them on the this angle, but we're here, and it's got a, a very nice um, um, 90 anniversary emblem on the fuel tank. Both the uh, Stelvio NTX and the ATV has got uh, Pirelli Scorpion. Tires and uh, and they um, they can take a bit of uh, gravel and uh, and a bit of uh, you know very very light off off road work. It's no problem. The engine has got um, 105 horsepower and um, and lots of torque. So uh, I mean, it's the torque that's the that's the main thing about uh, Stelvio. Really, that's that's what's enjoyable uh, when you're out on the road touring. Um, <coughs> So uh, particularly if you if you if you like to use the high gears, higher gears, fourth, fifth, and sixth gear. So for cruising, yeah. Uh, let me just fire it up for you. You can get some sound.
now we got the stealth view 1200 NTX with the four four valve engine quattro valve puller so it should move a little bit uh, faster and sharper than the old one and the old one wasn't a bad bike wasn't a bad bike at all <coughs> yeah, what the good says got one of the you know prettiest logos in bike business as well. So all in all, Motor Goods has got lots of stuff going for it, and uh, and I believe PR just can do something about it with some new models next year. We hope. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. Like uh, old fashioned places, like, uh, you know, yes. like this. I think there is a ghost here as well. Yes? Have you heard it? The, the ghost? Oh, the ghost. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, it may be in my room, but. Uh,